you've been a really good road quarterback. Do you have any, just thinking of that through, do you have any reason why that might be? No, I can't tell you. Um, is it, well, what's it, is it a different feel, like a little less pressure or a little less no, I mean, it's... Anything? Are, are you um, just with your guys? Or I don't know. Just kind of curious if that No, it depends. Translates. You know, I think sometimes being on the road is really fun just because um, you, know, you do feel you know, almost like a, a gladiator, right? It's just you and your guys. Uh, you know, Brian shared with the group, this was in, uh, I want to say this was training camp, but there's this story of, like, Sparta or where they would all eat together and then on the, on the wall it says outside of this room there is nothing. I think it's fitting. It's like great because you know, hostile environment. It's like, it's an awesome feeling. It's because it's it's literally you, your guys, your coaches. It's just our program. Uh, and everyone else is is hostile. It, it can be it can be really fun. Is it easier just to focus on football when you're on the road too? Because that's the reason you're on the road. I mean, are there less distractions? Or? No, I mean it's anytime you're playing a game, 100 percent focus is on the game. You know, we're, we we all care about this way too much to think about anything except trying to play our best and win. But that us against the world mentality is pretty strong in the road. Yeah, it, it can be. It definitely can be. Uh, it's fun. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. Uh, especially the, the the louder and the more uh, more animosity there is. You know, that, that feeling is just pretty natural. You know, when that happens. It sounds like they're going to try to make their environment as hostile as they can. They're not known for that, yeah, but they're really promoting it. Yeah, the Scarlet out the head coach yeah. shared that with us. It's uh, it'd be fun. Um, you know, I think they got a really good football team. Good defense, uh, especially. Yeah, I think you know Coach Giannis done a really nice job, and um, you know I, I think there's plenty of reason for them to be excited. Uh, so this is a this is a big game. Curious, I know you don't like to talk about the previous game, but did you ever think that game was not going to be finished? I did a little bit. Um, yeah, I think there was the one break, the one stoppage that they told us it was at least 90 minutes, and at that point, I was like, wow. I mean, at a certain point, are we, how late are we going to stay up? Um, <laughs> but you know, I guess. Got to, got to finish the game. Got to finish the game. <laughs> <laughs> got in a little late with the, with the Sparta business, but does that, does that apply all the time besides just road games? Um, it can. It can. Uh, it certainly does certain moments. Um, yeah, without diving too much into it. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a mindset that, that I love because um, in a lot of ways, uh, Outside of this building, there, there is nothing. This is, uh, these are the people we have. Um, and uh, it's a lot of fun to work with, with, uh, with everyone. Do you feel like the uh, made progress this week? Is the gray sheet even better this week than it was last week? Yeah, gray sheet, was, gray sheet was pretty good. Yeah. Um, the trick now is just to keep building on that and uh, you know continue to improve. Um, and just start to stack up stack up good days. That's, uh, that's, the, that's the challenge and that's the goal. So another little stat here. Last time you started and finished a road game was Maryland last year, which was one of you guys' best road games. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at you. Know, feel like you got enough here to recreate that type of road game magic? Yeah, uh, we, yeah. We definitely have enough. Um, yeah. You know, that, was a, that was a game where a lot of things went right, and yeah. uh, we're obviously looking to you know, recreate that. Um, but, you know, really it just all comes down, all my focus is on doing my job. There's, there's too much that I have to do uh, for me to worry about anything else except uh, for every play, executing the best I can. What does it mean to have Nico back? Just a friend, a trusted guy, and a good receiver. Yeah, it's great. It's just, you know, and, and really, a, you know, a senior, really the leader of that receiver room. And, you know, he's the most veteran guy, you know, probably in terms of play counts in our, in our offense, I would say. Probably him or Sam, but he played you know, more in, in 19 than, than Sam did. Um, so it's, it's great. It's great. He's, and he's a really talented player. Uh, I think the way he carries himself, just you know, he's, he's a pretty laid-back guy. But you know, when he when he talks, you know, when he's in the huddle, if he's trying to motivate guys or, or whatever it may be. It's people listen because he's he's very respected. Um, and yeah, it's just it's it's great having a really really good player back out there.